All right, and welcome to Solving Basic Equations, Level 6. Now here in Example 1, we see something a little bit interesting. We see 6 parentheses x plus 2 close parentheses equals 42. Now when we get to more complex equations, I actually have three questions that I always want you to ask yourself, and I really want you to practice these, so make sure you say these out loud. So what is question number 1? Question number one is, can I simplify, can I simplify the left or the right side? But we'll just abbreviate by saying, can I simplify? And so notice this six is right next to the parentheses. And what have we said? Whenever two things are side by side, they're being multiplied. But we actually have a really fancy term for when we have a number on the outside of a parentheses. We actually say that instead of multiplying, we call this distribution. 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 Now, distribution just means multiplying, but what it means is that we're going to multiply 6 times everything on the inside. Now, I'm only going to write this out one time like this, but what we're really saying is 6 times x. So we write 6 times x plus, and then 6 times 2, 6 times 2, and we'd say, okay, well, that must be equal to 42. Now, what would, I, what would I normally do? I'd normally skip this step and I'd say, well, 6 times x is actually 6x. Sorry for the color switch here. And 6 times 2 is 12 is equal to 42. Perfect. Step 1, we have simplified the left-hand side. Now, you'll notice we're actually skipping question 2 for just the moment. And we're going to pop on down to question 3. How do I get x by itself? And we actually answered this in our last in our last problem. We said, okay, we're going to use a little algebra here, and we're going to use PEMDAS in reverse. PEMDAS in reverse. Well, I noticed that 6 is being multiplied by the x. There's my multiplication. I see the plus 12, so I have some addition. And remember, we work our way from the bottom to the top, and the first thing we get rid of is that addition. Well, what gets rid of a plus 12? minus 12. And what we do on the left, we do on the right. And notice, guys, we're just putting everything together. Positive 12 and negative 12, that's my zero pair. And now I have that 6x is equal to 42 minus 12, which is in fact 30. And now how do I, I continue on up? And how do I get rid of my multiplication? I have to divide. And wait, 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we say 1x is equal to 30 divided by 6 is 5. And look at that. We just solved this long, crazy problem like it was nothing. Okay, let's go see a second example, example number two. Okay, for example two, we see negative five parentheses 2x minus three is equal to 85. Now remember, we said that whenever two things are side by side, they're being multiplied. And so we know this negative five is being multiplied by the parentheses. And if you'll recall, we're, we're going to have to use our distribution. And from this point forward, I'm just going to label distribution with D-I-S-T. Now, remember, this is coming from our question one, can I simplify the left or the right? So here we're going to simplify the left side by using distribution. And we say, okay, well, negative 5 times 2x, a negative times a positive is a negative, and 5 times 2 is negative 10x. And negative 5 times negative 3, a negative times negative is a positive, and 5 times 3 is 15, is equal to 85. Now notice we're going to skip question 2 right now, for just for now. We're going to move to question number 3. How do I get x by itself? And remember, this is where we write our PEMDAS, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And that arrow going up to show that we're doing it in reverse. Now wait a second, what's going on here? I see a minus 10x, does that mean subtraction? Well no, remember it's beside the x. That's actually our multiplication. We're multiplying by a negative. And here we see this plus 15, so that must be our addition. And remember, working from the bottom to the top, the first thing I get rid of is my addition. Well what's the opposite of plus 15? That's minus 15. What I do to the left, I have to do to the right. And of course, we just created a zero pair. 
Now from here, we have negative 10x is equal to 85 minus 15, which is 70. And wait a second, how do we get rid of this negative 10? Well, when two things are side by side, they're being multiplied. And so we go up to our multiplication, and of course we get rid of that by dividing both sides by negative 10. Okay, negative 10 over negative 10 is 1x equals, and a positive divided by a negative is a negative, and 70 divided by 10 is just 7. And our answer is x equals negative 7. All right, you guys should be able to complete this page now here, and good luck. I'll see you in our level 7 video.